Namaskaram. So now we are starting with our phase two, which is admissible business expendi business expenditures or deductions. First, have a look. Let's have a look at it from your uh, handwritten notes. So phase two is also known as expenses which are allowed, which is given under section thirty to section thirty seven one. Okay, the first section in this is section thirty. Which talks about four expenses: rent, repair, insurance, and taxes. Rent, repair, insurance, and taxes of a building. Please understand: this building has to be used for business or profession. Then only expenses are allowed. If it is used for any other purpose, then PGBP shall not give you any deduction. Okay. So rent, repair, insurance, and taxes. So why the taxes is under cloud a special provision because the taxes of a building are allowed, but it is subject to section forty three b. What do you mean by section forty three b? So technically it means it is allowed as a deduction, but not on accrual basis. It is allowed as a deduction on payment basis. Okay. That we will discuss under section forty three b when we reach there. But please understand, whenever I refer, this deduction is allowed under section uh, uh, under this section, but subject to section forty three b, which means it is allowed, but you have to pay first to claim the deduction. Balance three expenses will be allowed on accrual basis. No uh, dispute for that. Now one more point you need to understand from this section is this. Whenever we talk about repairs, now repairs can be of two types, and with your accounting understanding, you already know there are repairs which are called as the revenue re revenue repair. This is also known as the revenue nature repair. Revenue nature repair means current repair in income tax, which is allowed as a deduction under section thirty, which are because it is the expenditure which is the recurring nature. But there are expenditure which are known as the capital nature expenditure, capital nature repair. It's like changing the tiles, uh, wall tiles or tiles of the flooring of your uh, building, uh, changing the bathroom fittings, or uh, you know, uh, demolishing the uh, demolishing some part of the building and reconstructing it. So kind of that is the capital nature repair. Obviously, it is not in a revenue nature. It is not allowed to debit to your PNL account. Similarly, here it is not allowed as a deduction under section thirty. But sir, because I had spent the particular expenditure, I must get deduction. Yes, you will get deduction, but by capitalizing this to the cost of the asset, and then you can claim depreciation over the period of time of the asset because it is a capital nature expenditure. Similar treatment we give to give it in accounts, so there is no much to explain here. Only one doubt I have to, you know, I have to uh, talk here is this: if the tenant. Not owner. If a tenant incurs capital expenditure, then will he get deduction? Because he is not a owner, and you know only owner can claim depreciation. A tenant cannot claim depreciation because building is not owned by him. So if a tenant incurs capital expenditure on a building, can he get deduction here? Answer is no. So for that, Section thirty two has given power to tenant. to call as a deemed owner deemed owner for deemed owner for those capex and he will not get deduction but he will get a depreciation under section 32 okay so this is what it is written in this section let's have the theoretical understanding from study material premises uh this the deduction is about rent rates taxes repairs and insurance for building under section 30 Section thirty allows the deduction in respect of the rent, rates, taxes, repairs, and insurance of a building used by the assessee for the purpose of his business or profession. Premises used partly for business and partly for other purpose. Now you know this partly expenses you will be allowed. Say for example, seventy percent premises used for business and thirty for residential purpose. Then all the expenses will be allowed on proportionate basis. Seventy percent will be allowed partly for business, partly for other purpose only. Proportionate part. of the expenses attributable to that part of the premises used for the business will be allowed as a deduction premises which is sublet sublet means tenant is giving premises on subletting okay where the assessee has sublet a part of the premises the allowance under section would be confined to the difference between the rent paid by the assessee and the rent recovered from the subtenant so if you have taken the premises this is your business premises it was a very big factory please understand it was a very big factory and in this this much factory it is sublet okay so what will happen you are paying rent of rupees 1 lakh every month 
but you are recovering 30,000 from that particular subletting. So, how much you should allowed as a you should be allowed as a deduction under this particular section is only 70,000 net you should take as a deduction. This is what is written here. Occupation of premises by the assessee being the owner. Where the assessee himself is the owner of the premises and occupies them for his business purpose, no notional rent would be allowed under this section. So, you cannot create a notional rent. They, they are it, technically they are trying to say you should not pay rent to yourself. To manipulate in taxation, assessee may show a general entry of rent paid to himself, which is again a notional rent or you know unreal rent. We should not give deduction of that kind of rent. However, where firm runs a business and premises is owned by its partner, you understand the firm is running the business and premises is owned by the partner, then will it be allowed as a deduction? Obviously, yes, because the business is run by the partnership firm, whereas uh, premises is owned by the partner, and here it can be a legitimate uh, uh, transaction. Obviously, income tax will look into the transactions detail in, uh, in depth because it is a payment made to a related party and section 40A subsection 2 will come into picture. Okay. Repairs of the premises. Now, I just I told you there are two types of repairs. Apart from a rent, this section allows deduction of is in respect of expenses incurred on account of repairs of the building in case where assess is the owner of the building or assess is the tenant who has undertaken to bear the cost of repair of the premises. So, whether you are owner or tenant, you will get a deduction. Even if the assess you occupy the premises otherwise than as the tenant or owner that is leasee, licensee, mortgagee in with position is entitled to the deduction. But cost of repair and cost of repair and current repair of a capital nature not to be allowed as a deduction. This is the explanation to the section 13. Amount paid on account of the cost of repair to the premises occupied by the CC as a tenant and the amount paid on account of current repair to the premises occupied by the CC otherwise than as a tenant shall not include any capital expenditure. In other words, cost of repair and current repair other than capital nature is allowed. That means capital nature is not allowed. So, what will you do with capital nature? As, as I told you, you will capitalize to the asset and then claim depreciation over it. Other expenses. In addition, deductions are allowed in respect of by way of land revenue, the local rates, municipal taxes, but municipal taxes allowed subject to section 43B, that means on payment basis, insurance, all these expenses are allowed. Okay. Mm, this is next section. So, uh, this was the section 30 for you, the first section so far as the deduction is concerned. Thank you.